The vampires as a group have cheated death. And when death has no meaning, then life has no meaning. And when life has no meaning, it is very, very easy to kill. Not true, Reverend Newland. Life has great meaning for us. <laughs> We've all known the joy of human life. And as several of your kind demonstrated in Louisiana three weeks ago, we most certainly can die. Your assertion is little more than veiled incitement for your supporters to come kill us. No amount of political grandstanding can hide the fact that you know who killed my family. Their blood is on your hands. That's an outrageous accusation. Can you back that up, Reverend? My father's death was an assassination, pure and simple. A killing meticulously planned, ruthlessly executed. From there, all you have to ask is who stands the most to gain. We're running out of time. Last word, Miss Flanagan? Clearly, Reverend Newland's grief over the loss of his father hasn't hindered him from some political grandstanding himself. It's a beautiful, sunny morning in America, Miss Flanagan. I wish you were here. Give me 12 hours, Reverend. I'll be right there. All right, thank you, Nan Flanagan and Reverend Steve Newland. May his holy light shine upon you, Sharon. Coming up I'll be right back. Okay. You're so handsome. You're getting good at this. Uh, getting better. Got a long way to go. Any notes? Well, sometimes you can sound a little too much like a preacher. Well, Oh, well, I'm just thinking ahead, darling. You know, you could be governor of Texas and you play your cards right. Huh. You know, you had her cornered. I thought those fangs were going to come out any second. Oh, I wish they would. That'd be a sad one. Mm -hmm. Let the world see what she really is. Mm -hmm. Morning, everybody. How do I do? Thanks so much. Hey, how you doing? I wish my daddy was here to see you. Thank you so much, Reverend. Have a good time. Ori Dawson, you son of a gun, come here. Oh, Reverend, oh, Mrs. Newland, oh. Ooh, ooh, oh. oh, I have someone I'd like you to meet. This here is Jason Stackhouse from down the road a piece in Bon Tom. Huh? Wow, you're like the most famous person I've met. <laughs> we're all equals here. Wait, Bon Tom, weren't you that poor soul they were accusing of all those terrible murders? Uh, yeah, I was. But I was saved, just like Ori said I would be. Mm -hmm. And for the first time in my life, I feel like God has a purpose for me. Well, he does. He does for us all. This here is God's purpose for me. Well, I've been reading your father's book, and it's really making me um, think about things. Well, then you realize his true message is love despite what all those liberal wing nuts say about him. Well, it's just like he says in the book. I'm coming from the darkness into the light. Jason's a newcomer to our flock, but he's been most enthusiastic about the message. He's got great potential. Now that's high praise coming from Maury. He was one of my father's closest advisors. You know, I think Jason would make a fine candidate for the Light of Day Institute. Steve and Sarah run a leadership conference in Texas where they train the best and brightest to spread our gospel. Think of it as a springboard for fulfilling your destiny. Wow. A leadership conference? It is a terrific program, Jason. Now, if you have the time and money, it is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. How, how much is it going to cost me? Uh, well, now, I don't handle the money myself. $1,200. We cover room, board, and transportation, and you just pay for your class fees. I don't know if I can afford that. Mm, I know it's a hardship, but there's no price for salvation. Well, why don't you pray on it? God will give you a sign. Okay. I'll pray on it. God will give me a sign. His holy light shine.